Good morning, everyone. Well, I guess actually for you guys, it may not be morning time right now. Hold on, it is for me. Okay, so there's no video coming out today and I thought I would just do kind of a little bit of an update, you know, what's going on with us. So things, uh, the, the lovely drummer started a new job and uh, so we kind of got a little behind on things. Um, I don't know if y'all realize this, but we kind of obviously record a little bit ahead of time. We, most of the stuff that's been up the past couple of weeks, we recorded maybe three weeks ago. So things have been a little crazy. We thought Thanksgiving weekend was gonna give us a little time. Then the lovely drummer decided to get sick. That was awesome. All that to say, no video going up today. I do actually have a little bit of a special video going up tomorrow, but I thought, you know, hey, this is a fun little opportunity. Let's kind of just walk through a couple of things real quick. I just want to kind of show you what's kind of been changing and what it's going to look like kind of going forward. This is, well, I guess it helps if I turn it on. This, this is, our new recording soundboard. Okay, I know what you're thinking. That's a little overkill. I, I get it, I get it. It is actually very much overkill. But the key is, is it is literally for the price, the only thing that had every single feature that we wanted. We used to record with, well, actually, one of these, and that was it. Yeah, I'm using this right now actually to record this audio. This is the new mixing board and it's real fun. Watch this, watch this. Oh. Whoa, hold on. What about, boom. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's a 16 channel mixer. Um, we don't really need 16 channels right now. Technically we only need three or four depending on like how I'm setting up all the recording stuff. But, good thing is, it has everything we need and it has some expansion for us. So at some point, we're gonna be putting some extra mics onto the Lovely Drummer's drum set. Try and say that 10 times fast. The Lovely Drummer's drum set, the Lovely Drummer's drum, uh, I can't even do it twice. Um, so we're gonna be putting a few extra mics on there to get a little better audio out of there. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. Um, our old setup would not even allow us to add anything at all and so we hadn't upgraded her mic yet and we've seen a couple of people talk about hey i can't hear the snare hey um i'd like to hear a little bit more of this you know the bass drum's not really coming through too well i've kind of fixed that actually a little bit with some eqing but still the snare drum um really biggest complaint can't hear the snare drum over the cymbals well that's because this mic right here that's the only thing picking up the, the whole rest of the drum set. We have one mic on the bass drum and one mic on everything else. I really hope I'm in frame here. I really should have done selfie mode. So if this looks horrible, I'm sorry. So anyways, this used to be our mixing board. Kind of. Um, and I say kind of very loosely because it, we actually had to use it in conjunction with this to actually get everything to work. It was literally just the somewhat high quality enough-ish device that I could get for a certain amount of price because I knew eventually we would be upgrading to that. Well, I didn't know that we were gonna upgrade to that specifically, but I knew we were gonna be upgrading to something more capable of handling everything we wanted to do, and I just needed something to get us by. Originally, <laughs> so this is funny enough, first couple of videos, um, we would record on that, well, let me take that back. We had everything running through there and then went into a headphone amplifier, which, somewhere? I don't see it. We had that going into a recording amplifier, uh, into a headphone amplifier. And then from the headphone amplifier, it went to both of our ears and what we would do is we would set the mix where we wanted it for the drum video and we would use, put this in line, this little thing in line for recording the audio and we would play it once. Then we go back through, set it for the, the mix for how we wanted it for the bass video and we would put this, then we would hit record again. So yeah, we recorded so each song twice because, and because that way we could actually have a separate mix. I 
found it. This, this is the headphone amp. So anyways, I originally bought this mixer for just for us to practice because, you know, we play quite a bit actually. Um, and I wanted a better solution. Um, I don't see it here. Uh, we had this, I had this little like, before I got the Helix, I had this little like device that I could plug into my bass that then would basically amplify the bass sound to headphone level and I could also plug in an audio source and that way I could listen to that and then we would practice together like that. And there was obviously no mics whatsoever on the drum set. So the lovely drummer was kind of just listening through what she could, you know, as what seeped in through her in-ear monitors. Then eventually I got the Helix um, and the Helix kind of served the same purpose. It was really just the same thing. Essentially, I plug in via USB to my laptop and I would play the music from my laptop, which would then go into the Helix and then I could hear myself and everything that I was doing on the Helix and then the lovely drummer would plug in to a splitter on the headphone jack there and then we would do that. This was not a really a great solution. So eventually, we upgraded to this. Um, this basically, you know, it allowed us to put two mics and then my bass in right there. Um, and originally I had to, I was going in XLR and then I discovered that um, the mics needed phantom power, but there's not a per channel phantom power thing on this. I ended up having to go in through uh, line in and there were some other like electrical noise issues that occurred because of that. Yeah, lots, lots of fun stuff. So moving on, then we added the audio box USB and we added that so that way um, well we really added that when we started like after the first couple of videos of recording the channel we decided we kind of wanted to keep doing this and we were like well we don't want to invest, invest too much and oh that was the other thing we originally only had one camera so that's kind of the whole reason why uh, like again we had to record each video like each video separately is we only had one camera. So we'd take one camera, record me, take one camera, record her. It was real fun having to play through it. And then if one of us made a mistake, then we'd have to go through and do it all over again um, because there was no way for me to like in audio, in post, like use one audio versus the other. It's not, which is not to say that I sit there and like move audio around for our videos. I don't want you to get that impression. What you see is what I'm playing and what you see she's playing, she's playing. Um, it just wasn't a way for me to like, so if I messed up uh, on the playthrough for her video, then use my base, my better base one, so that way that that way they were like the same. But it, it there was never really a way to do that. So that's why I got the audio box. The audio box basically allowed me to everything kind of stayed the same, and it's kind of funny. This thing does re support recording two channels. Well, we need a we needed three channels. And B, um, if you ran audio into the tape in or into or via USB into it, that that audio would get recorded. So if I wanted to have like the music coming through on here, you couldn't actually record the individual channels without the music also getting mixed in. When we got the um, audio box, that's when we started doing the only covers, because uh, I could finally actually do that. Because what I did is I just had the lovely drummer plugged in, her two mics plugged in here, and then they went from here into the audio box, which then could record two channels. The reason I was doing that is because I, I needed some way to kind of control a little bit of EQ originally, because I was still kind of learning how to use GarageBand. Um, don't hate me. Um, I'm simplistic sometimes. I like to play um, audio editing. I like live audio, like audio engineering. Great, no problem. But like audio editing, audio engineering. Don't I don't know. Just just I didn't really want to mess with it. So I tried. I liked my live, like being able to adjust things, and I still kind of do. So two channels were leaving from there, going into the audio box, and then the audio box was plugged into the computer. This was no longer plugged into the computer because when that was plugged into the computer, there was huge electrical noise. You go back and listen to some of the other videos. Like you can tell when I started doing that because there were, when this thing was still plugged in because there's some horrible electrical noise. And then I finally figured out, oh, hey, I just need to unplug that from the USB because we're not using that now that we've got the audio box. So her two channels would go into the audio box. 
then the audio box would go to the headphone amp and to the computer and I would record those two channels. Then my bass, I would have, so I was actually plugged in on here, but because I can only record two channels, I wanted to be able to record both of their mics separately. I would turn my bass down here and then I would just set GarageBand to, to monitor, which would then be coming through the audio box so she could hear me. I could hear her because I also was using my Helix and I was having the, the monitor of the drum set coming through the Helix and so, Great, everything's wonderful. We actually almost kind of have two different mixes. Well, there's a lot of annoyances with that. Obviously there's like four, two devices plugged in via USB and like three different things that are have to make adjustments on to get anything anywhere. So I wanted to simplify. So now we have one device and it can do all of that, everything that was being done by three devices and can also handle up to 16 channels, which eventually the lovely drummer, she might actually use somewhere around four to eight. We're, we're kind of we're kind of going back and forth a little bit. Like I know I want to add, get a better bass drum mic. I know I want to get a snare drum mic, but we're kind of torn on whether or not to get Tom mics right now. Because we both like the tone of spatial miking, um, which is basically where like you have like, large diaphragm mics kind of spread out a little bit and you're getting more of like a spatial awareness rather than a, a mic that's just sitting right on a tom. And I know it sounds really clean that way, but we don't like the, the feel. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Uh, and if you were hoping for a short video, I apologize, it's kind of going on a little longer. I need coffee. So now what's, what's going on, and the, the, there's a reason this mixer's still around, um, is, we're using four channels. Uh, I know you're like, you spent, you bought that and you're using four of 16 channels. Actually, technically the thing can handle up to 32 channels if you get like a little extension thing, but meh, whatever. What I have is basically individual uh, mix controls. These basically are all of the drum set mics. Right now, just two, eventually more. This is my bass. This is computer from the MP3 or audio from the MP3, from the computer. Audio from the computer, there we go. I'll get there eventually. And this is uh, the Chromecast, which we, we just use that for practice. You know, we obviously play for our church and I play for other things as well. This allows us to, like, I can just pull up a song on my phone, turn Chromecast into the music room and then I can just start playing with it. And so this is my mix essentially right here. Um, this, is a separate mixer. So I have those four, those four sins coming out of quarter inches plugging in right here. And then the lovely drummer can set her own mix. So this is, um, so wait, this must be bass. And this is drum set because we haven't had a chance to record yet. So she hasn't even actually used it. This is maybe the Chromecast. And this is the MP3, which means this is the Chromecast, and this is the MP3. Okay, so I made I, I lined them up so they're the exact same four. Um, for her, it's really nice because she can actually pan them, so she can have one audio coming in one ear and one coming in the other. I can't. Well, I can. I haven't like started really messing with it too much. Uh, I may not just because it's a little bit more detailed for me to do that with this kind of mix. Because unfortunately, I can't just. If anybody knows how to just set a uh, DCA group, like control the DCA group and send a whole DCA group left and a whole DCA group right, that would be great. Let me know. She has her own mixer for what she hears in her ears. So it makes it just that much easier for us to kind of be able to not have to like stress about it. Like it, she can, she, if she complains and says, hey, the MP3 is louder, I don't have to sit there and go turn something up. She can just turn it up, that simple. We're still using GarageBand right now. Um, I do have plans to buy Logic, Apple, whatever Apple's like major, like big uh, edit, audio editing one, Logic Pro, I think it's Logic Pro. I don't need it right now. Um, Cause what I'm kind of doing is I'm using this and I'm kind of mixing like I'm live. And so like um, here, like I've got, the lovely drummer's like bass drum mic EQ'd and compressed and gated the way that I want it to be. It's gonna sound really, really good. I can't wait for you guys to hear this next week. 
next, yeah, next Thursday, y'all should be able to hear it. So I've got all that stuff set up and then I've did the same thing for her, her overhead. And so I was able to do all that. And then I'm just gonna be able to record straight in your garage band, done. And I like that. And so I'm not too worried about having something nice like um, Logic right now because I don't wanna do crazy editing. I, what I want is you to hear what I play and hear it in the best way possible. So that's the setup right now. This is getting to be really, really long. I'll probably cut this down in post. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Who knows? This may be a really, really long video. I'm apologizing now. Um, that's everything. I mean, um, no video today. There is a video to tomorrow. It's just kind of a fun video. It's, enjoy. That's all I'm gonna say, enjoy. Um, I, it's not, it's not as, I'm probably overhyping it. It's really nothing that extra special. It's, um, it's just a video. It was something, it, it was something I'd already planned on doing and hadn't had a chance to do. And since we're not doing any videos this week, I thought I would do it tomorrow. And I'm doing this today. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's it. That's our setup. That's the new setup. Um, it's really, really cool. I can't wait to actually record with it. Um, I'm super excited. I think I'm playing this this week at church. I'm pretty sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm pretty sure I'm playing this this week. Sorry. Um, bass. Drum set. Goodbye!